hello and welcome back to part 8 now um, of my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Major, uh, Master Quest playthrough. Um, so last time we powered through the Fire Temple. I say powered, um, it was a bit of a trek and um, we had to leave like, two thirds of the way through to get the Scarecrow song. But we got there in the end, uh, defeated, uh, defeated Volvagia and then received the Fire Medallion. So what we're going to do in this part is we are going to get a couple of items and we're going to get ready to go to the Water Temple. Now we won't do the Water Temple today um, as we've got a lot of mini dungeon to do and um, a few other bits and pieces. Now I'm going to do one or two B side bits first so I'm going to destroy this. And this will get us another fairy fountain. And in here we get an upgrade, which is a very useful upgrade, and if I'd remembered about it, it would have been very helpful in the fire temple. Um, ah. Yeah, so we get an upgrade, and it's basically the double magic meter. So it gives us twice as much magic to use, which would have been very handy considering the amount of times I had to use Din's fire in that dungeon. <laughs> so yeah, once we've got this, we are going to head back to Zora's domain, and we are going to go up behind uh, the king again to where Jabu Jabu was and there we will find the ice cavern which is like a mini dungeon and we'll get a very useful item from that So we're going to Zora's domain, so the easiest way to do that is just to go back to the Temple of Time. Saves us going all the way down the mountain again and through Kakariko Village so we can just warp to the, the Temple of Time. So it saves us a few minutes there. So yeah, like I said, we're going to get a couple of things before we do the water temple. Um, first of them was that uh, magic meter. Um, we're also going to get the golden scale, I believe, the iron boots, the Zora tunic, and a piece of heart. So a couple of wee things. I think the... The Iron Boots is going to be the one that takes the longest to get, um, simply because that's the item for the mini dungeon. There we go. I only discovered that the other day there. Obviously we saw what had happened to the Gorons um, following well, the, the tragedy that befalls Hyrule, so we're going to go find out what has happened with the Zoras. Probably an even bigger change actually, because the Gorons, it was basically just, oh there was nobody in the city, um, that was it. With the, with the Zoras it's a bit more... 
obvious that something's gone wrong, which you'll see in a minute. If you notice already, it's, it's snowing, which is a new change. At some point I'll maybe come back and get some of these heart pieces that I've seen but I just haven't bothered getting. Um, we'll maybe do that towards the end, so maybe after the Spirit Temple we'll maybe do that um, before we go and confront Ganon. So yeah, it's all snowy and frozen over. Which is nice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to the king's kind of throne room and back out to Zora's fountain. <laughs> and then you can see the king is encased in kind of red ice, which which we cannot break at this moment, but we will be able to once we finish the mini dungeon. Okay, another big change, no Jabu Jabu, so I have to wonder what's happened to him. Now, what we're going to do first is, the ice cavern is over there, but there's a cup, there's a piece of heart. Just whoa. Just over there that we're gonna try and grab. <laughs> See how many I've got. I think that was the start of a freshman, so uh, yeah. So I need another three. Um, we'll get another one before the end of this part, hopefully. Um, but the other one's a wee bit easier to get, we don't need to worry too much about that. Oh, up we go. Octoroks. So, go on this way. And then we go. Now, I've never been. Oh! A massive fan of this area. Um, always found it quite annoying in the base game. So, ah, um, so I don't know how it's changed at all for Master Quest. Hopefully, it's not changed too much. But yeah, you've got these ice guys who are really annoying. <laughs> You wait for them to stop. Ah. Yeah, basically you need to avoid their breath because they'll freeze the sword. And we need to get through there somehow. You also need to be careful of these icicles in the ceiling because they will fall on your head. Right. So I'm going to break out Din's fire and burn my way through that. And it did nothing. Right. 
Ah! Idiot. Never noticed there's a switch up here. There we go. I just always think it looks a bit like web that you can burn, but it's not. It's some kind of ice. Whoa! Okay. So this is almost like the central route in here. Watch out for the ice guy. I'm going to try and avoid the fairy because I would like to get that. Is it still floating about? And uh, no, looks like it's disappeared. Oh. Oh. It's always worth capturing the fairies. They're too useful just to leave lying around. Um, and unless you really, really need it then and there, it's always better to bottle them, I find. Okay, now, what way? This way, I believe. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, because I don't have any way of melting that red ice yet. And that blue flame, that's basically what we're looking for. Most of them is best just to wait for this guy. The only reason I moved a bit last time is because the ice guys were there. Messing about at this point. It's always worth seeing if there's something up here. No, no. Right. And there we go, so we got a chest in there. Now we need to melt that ice, which is what we use the blue flame for. Um, now I know I said use bottles for fairies, but you need the bottle for the flame, so just let one of the fairies go. And there we go. Fire in a bottle. And basically this is what we're going to be using throughout this mini dungeon. Anything that's red like that, we can melt with the flames. And incidentally, it's what we'll use to free the Zora King. And there we go, a dungeon map. It's probably about as useful as the rest of them. Yeah. Although there's only one floor to the place, so that's good. So we'll rebottle some of the fire. Check. 
because we'll need it to get through these areas up ahead. Sometimes you just can't brick a ball. Right, so we're gonna go that way. Or are we gonna go that way? Um, let's try this way. Time to the okay. Yeah, there's one of the icicles that falls. That looks like a place for my scarecrow. The keys in this are really annoying. Because if they touch you, you will freeze. And I've always found the freeze attack to be the most annoying. Um, being sent fire is fine, but ice just, I don't know, always seems harsher to me. I don't know why. I don't know if it does more damage. It seems like it does. I'll take this guy out. Make sure we've got all these guys first. Okay, I think that's all. So, right. There's a switch up here, so let's shoot that and see what happens. Made that block disappear. Okay, so now I know I don't usually go out my way to get sculptures, but if it's something I can just pick up quick enough, then I might as well. So we'll let the last dungeon read the Scarecrow song. It's that simple, easily remembered little... I hate to say tune, just a sequence of notes that you'll remember really easily. There we go. Now... Here's where it's gonna get tricky. I need a way we should have a pushable block here somewhere. Um but I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna shoot this again. Sometimes I really miss the long shot, which is an upgrade you get later on. Um and it just gives you more range on the hook shot. Hmm. 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 Right. So, can I climb up that? I can. Right, so I just need a flame. Right, so I'm gonna go back the way I came. And we'll get the flame. That first flame that we see. Now those stalactites do come back over time, so just be wary. Just because you might have cleared an area of them once, if you're going back through, just keep a wee eye out because you might get hit by one again. Okay. 
I'm actually annoyed these guys have respawned, I can't be bored fighting them again. Okay, so empty bottle... Blue flame. Now I could stock up the two or three bottles, but hopefully that won't be necessary. out loud. They really leave you absolutely no room to manoeuvre in that section whatsoever. Oh come on, I don't want to fight you, go away. Ah, that's what I hate about the keys. Get up there. This should melt these. And there we go. <laughs> Horrible things. Uh, no, I don't want the fairy. Ah, come back, fairy. Okay, now it looks like a wall, but it's actually a door. Quite aggressive. <coughs> now we get something here, which should hopefully be the iron boots. But knowing my luck, it'll be a compass. Iron boots. There's one buddy again. What are you saying this time, Sheik? Please do. I like the Serenade of Water, it's a nice wee. Well, I like them all. I know I say this every time my new song comes up, but. That's nice, I don't remember that. I like that they've obviously done HD textures for it as well, so it looked really nice. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. I was sure there was more to this dungeon. Oh, sorry, this mini dungeon. 
There probably is, but that's the only thing you like. We need from here. The rest of it will put up be a piece of heart or something like that. Where's the iron boots? Oh, that's right. You have to actually go to your equipment screen to equip them. This was one of the few things I didn't like about um, the N64 version compared to uh, the 3DS version. It's that the 3DS version, the, the iron boots, are just a C button item. So, uh, we'll head back this way. Um, so you can just equip them really, really quickly. Um, I've, I've seen that coming as well. Um, Whereas here, every time you want to turn them, put them on and off, you need to go into the menu. Which isn't too big an issue at the moment, but as soon as you step foot in the water temple, it's just horrendous. Um, oh, I need blue fire. <coughs> Bear with us, guys. I just need to head back and get some of that blue flame from some offer. I don't know why, I just can't judge that for some reason. I hate these boulders. I hate them. There was a flame just here. That would make things so much simpler. <laughs> there are a few things I hate more than unnecessary backtracking. And ice levels. I hate ice levels. Let's see if I can just skip past this guy. There we go. I'm not here to fight him, this I'm just gonna get a move on. Seen some that? Okay. So yeah, that's us done with the ice cavern. Thank God. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought, but that's because I think it seemed shorter than it does in, what, just base Ocarina of Time. So, with that done, we're going to head back over here. So we can unfreeze the Zora King, and he'll give us our next item. Without which we would die very, very quickly in the water temple. There we go. Excellent. So Frozen fish. Excellent. So, well, let's get changed into that just now. Um, and that's has got all the tunics in the game. 
so natty green uh, blue tunic. Although to be fair, I'm a fan of the classic green. Um, it's all about the green for me. Um, yeah, so uh, we could just warp there, but I want to get something on route. So we're gonna just go back to Hyrule Field. And we're gonna find one of the B secret bits. I actually kind of wish I was a kid, because when you're a kid you can just swim through all this really quickly. Come pulls you along. Shut up, Navi. What we need to do is get a pona. So, put that there. What's the pona song again? Up left, right. One thing I really liked about Majora's Mask. Um, was that obviously as a kind of sequel to this, um, you have a Pona in it, um, but I like that it uses some of the same songs, so the song of uh, Time's in it, the, I think Zelda's Lullaby's in it as well, and a Pona song, um, among others, um, so that was really cool. Uh, we need to go, it's around Long Lon Ranch. And I think we're looking for a tree with a rock next to it. From what I understand. Or what I remember. that tree. Basically you need to blow a hole in the ground um, and there's a bit you need to go down and you need the iron boots to do it. Oh god sake. Is that it? Could be. That may be it there, we'll check that out. But, without going into Grudo Valley, because we're not quite ready for there yet. Okay, so let's check, see if that's the right one. It's annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, I've completely forgotten where this is. Unless it's not actually marked with a rock, it might just be... Sure, let me try this one. Try a bomb, see if that does anything. If not, then we'll just sack it and just head to Hi uh, Lake Kylie. Uh, 
All right. It, um, That's really annoyed me now because I can't remember for the life of where it is. Oh well, doesn't really matter. So here we are, Lake Kylia, which is a wee bit different from the last time. Um, basically, because Zora's domain is frozen and the river's not flowing, it's empty, or rather, it's very, very, very unfull. <laughs> those buds. Let's see what we've got in here. Home for something kind of worthwhile, but these guys are rubbish. No. Ah! I didn't mean to buy bombs, but why not? It's like a bug's nest. Ah, you never know what you're gonna get. Huh. Oh well. Uh, right, so, well, we're almost at the dungeon, really. The only other thing I'd like to do is, I think there's one piece of heart in this house that we can get just now. It doesn't require any kind of, you know, groundwork being laid. You can just go in and get it, I think. Again, I might be wrong. Okay, he's putting lake water and stuff. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, we'll try the iron boots, see what we can get. Terrifying sight. Scout law. Hmm. Nothing's really panning out for me today. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um So yeah. What we'll do is we'll go and get the dungeon ready to start, and then well, we'll end it there. Just a wee shorter one today. When I say shorter, it's be the best part of 40 odd minutes. But compared to the last um, video I did, which was about an hour and a half, this is practically, you know, you know a tiny, tiny episode. So, again, we'll put in the iron boots. Okay. Now, but the only thing I can use on the water is the hook shot. So that becomes very important. 
Not for this dungeon. Okay, so yeah, I'm not even going to bother floating up there. Um, that's us ready to do the water temple, so not too bad the ice cavern wasn't as horrible as I remember it being. Um, we got a piece of heart, we got the tunic, we got the iron boots. So yeah, um, a decent wee bit of progress. So um, remember to join us next time where we'll be doing obviously the water temple. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.